at that! Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. But you look like the Booby Dooby Doo! To which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. What is that? What the? Is that was that in the script? When they were writing the commercial, did they just include in the script, Hey, just say boo doo boo doo boo doo How many takes did they have to do because the guy only said boo doo boo <laughs> Mario doesn't care, he just cares about his fruits. Frankly, I'm surprised Mario has ever eaten a fruit. And we're going to the Dolphin Island. We're not going to the Tea Turtle Island or the Triangle Island. God help us if anyone wants to go there. Anyways! Super Mario Sunshine! Woohoo! Okay, anyways, Super Mario Sunshine! As you can see, this is the first time I'm doing this. Yes, yeah, save the game. I want to create. Okay, you know, you know where my files are going. Anyways, hey people, Zarth Love here, and welcome to the first episode of my new Let's Play, Mario Sunshine. This is a game that I have really wanted to play for quite some time, because this is my favorite 3D Mario game. I just love the design, I love the controls, I love the gameplay. I pretty much love everything about this game. Anyways, let's go into the options. Apparently they turned the subtitles off. You couldn't hear a boo doo boo doo boo in the subtitles and all its glory and oh god turn that rumble off. Oh I don't want rumble. Ugh, it will hurt my hands. Anyways Mario trying to use tiptoe. Anyways, let's start a new game. Start. Abruptly stop the plane. Don't get any warnings. What happened? The peach, the plane stopped, Peach. The plane stopped. Though it would be nice if air traffic control would have been on that one. Just Mario turns with lip syncing. Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. And Mila, just that look on Peach's face. It's like she's saying, I am having the heat stroke. Mario, I am having the heat stroke. <laughs> and then that Pianta just yelling in the I background. I concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. Why can't you cross over to that shore and find some assistance? You have legs, Toadsworth. You can walk. Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Anyways, Mario Sunshine. One thing I'm going to warn you about. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to because I am used to this with a GameCube controller. I'm playing this with an Xbox 360. So yeah, things are going to be a little off in terms of just how things control for me. But I can adapt, though there is one thing that will take a little longer than... Oh, well other things to get used to. Anyways, we have Flood. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instructions. Tutorial! Use the R button to shoot water from my cake. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. 
You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Now, anyway, no, I don't want to hear your your instructions again, Flood. Anyways, as I was saying, try washing off that M to test your skills. Press R to shoot water. Anyways, one thing with my control, anything's with the GameCube controller. There are essentially two modes: partial press and complete press. The complete press is heard when you hear the click sound by pressing the button all the way down. Yes, Flood, I know. Don't be a Kibo. Anyways. If I press the, anyways, if I try to slightly press the R button on my, how I have it configured on my controller, I cannot, basically, it will count as a full press. So essentially, I can't move while shooting. So yeah, I'm going to have to just get used to that. Anyways, Mario is a pretty good repertoire. If you press the A button, you jump. If you press the A button right after landing, you do a double jump. And after that, if you press the A button again, Mario does a triple jump. If you spin the control stick around, you basically do a spin jump, which has some very good height, and you can pretty much do it standing still. That is a side jump right there, pretty useful. If you have some space. Oh, come on. This was not made for an Xbox controller. Anyways, B button lets you slide. Though, unlike Mario 64, Mario can actually slide repeatedly. I have you keep pressing the B button. And, one of my favorite things to do, is if you basically squirt the ground on front of you... Ah, I said if you squirt the ground in front of you, Mario will basically go into an Aqua Jet mode. Where he'll just keep going and going and going and keep picking up speed. It's pretty fun, just click there. And then... Mario just builds up all this momentum. Anyways, as stated, you can basically also fly with blood, you can hover for a short time. Now, let's get going. Oh, if you press the Y button. Basically, yeah, Y button, you can basically go into a first person view. Pretty useful. Anyways, first boss, Goopy Piranha. Just squirt this guy. Squirt him three times, you win. Now, let's keep going. Oh, forgot to rescue that guy. And the ground is brought forth once more. Oh man, I forgot to talk to people! Well, we can talk to him now! Okay, come on! Mario, heal the man! Heal him with your healing! Darn it. I have to get used to this controller, because my B is the X button. Blah! <sighs> Whoa, I really thought it was a goner! Hey, hang on, it's you! The whole mess is your fault! Some voice of appreciation. Wow, it shines right! A shiny shiny came out of the slime! A sparkly it came out of that yucky! Yeah, they're all the toads are going to have the Winston Payne voice. Get used to it. Oh, a shiny shiny from the icky goop! Hey, a sparkly came out of the goop! A twinkly thing came out of the ooze! <laughs> that bright object! It's not a star! What could it be? It's a knockoff! Down those Piantians! Those Piantas! It's so bright! I wonder what that thing is! Well, let's collect it! <laughs> Boom! Yahoo! Not gonna save yet! I'm gonna make it a thing to save after each episode, though. Hey, hmm, quite an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am Flood. Glad to meet you. <laughs> what would that penguin march do? Just penguin marching up to us. Is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, 
someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Princess PJ attorney oh, confirmed. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. <laughs> Court adjourned. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. Really, and Flood? The pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate. But the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. But still, Mario just got to the island! His plane literally just landed! <laughs> They're just arresting him! How can he save the airstrip? Not that, not only that, but the picture was showing him Mario was a blue figure! Seriously, where was Phoenix? You, and people say the Ace Attorney judicial system is corrupt. Go straight to quit. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start blacking. They don't watch you. All those two guys do is just stand by the eggs, by, stand at this one spot. Come on, show it where I can show where they're standing. Delfino Plaza. Our first objective is to go well, destroy that pineapple group. Anyways. Those two guys, they don't leave that sp Actually, no. They do move from that spot. They just don't move from the lighthouse. They gotta protect that lighthouse area. Because God knows us all, we lose that light lighthouse area. Anyways, DBS alert. This will give you a little news, guys. Anyways, I am not going to be getting a 100% in this game. I'm not going to be getting all 120 shine sprites. I'm going to be flat prank with you guys. Because the 100% ward is not that worth it. If anything, I'm going to show you the 100% of those reward on the screen right now. That's right! Your 100% reward for getting all the shine sprites, all the blue coins, everything, is a picture. A single picture. So yeah. Considering that there are two, 240 blue coins, all that are scattered throughout the game, I am not going to put forth the effort just to get a single photo that I'm showing you literally right now. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to be getting the 96 other shines in the game. Anyways, I'm actually going to try to sequence break things. Can I do it? Can I do it? No, Mario, no. We're not doing that. We're sequence breaking. We're going to be cool, Mario. We're going to be cool. Come on. Okay. Because we can actually get to one of the final areas in the game. First off, we're going to jump here. Then, go all the way back here. And... Yes! Here we go! Yeah, I'm cool like that! Into the pipe! 
sequence breaking! You know it's not a Zarthmon playthrough unless we're sequence breaking things. Chain Chocolates are unchained in Pihanta Village. So many people, it takes so many people a lot of time to get this? No, we're here 13 minutes into the playthrough. Chain Chocolates unchained. Come on. Ah, oh, come on, I wanna talk to you. Talk to the mayor. Hey mister, think you could spare us a hand here? This dear lady's pets have decided to go on a little rampage. No, not the bees, they seem to be acting normal. Grabs is just so slow! He left for the spring ages ago and he hasn't returned! Not that's weird, he pretty much does that every night. Where's the spring? Side of the village, base of the big tree. All the female piantas are gonna have the smoothie voice. Oh my goodness, this is awful! Completely awful! My little dogs have nasty fevers and are driving them mad! Normally I grab their tails and spike them into the ground, but they're too hot to touch now! Oh, it burns me up! Osvaldo! <laughs> Just throws, throws Mario like the freaking Hulk! Anyways! It seems that someone is lacking the proper training. Where's animal control when you need them? Come on, just get animal control! Now, we're gonna just... I'm gonna be lazy. Ah. We're gonna have to do this sooner or later. Okay, grab his tail. Pull him back. Send him flying into the spring. Come on. It's gonna take me a little while to get athletic with Mario. No! Come on. Come on. We gotta be fast, because otherwise... Come on, physics! No! Physics worked against me! Physics worked against me, but I can do this! Pull back, Mario! Pull back! Back, Mario! Back, back, back! Whoosh! Come on! He was right there! Whoa! Ah! Ah, no! Mario! Mario! What the? What the heck? He's in like the cliff. He's on this little rock. Yeah, he just fell right into the water. Now where's the third? Come on. Come on. Gotta capture you. Gotta capture you, Mr. Chain Chomplets. Okay, grab you. It'd be so nice if I could move while firing water in this playthrough. Remember, always be kind to your pets. Come on, come on. Grab that shine. Okay, second shine. So I hear a noise out there. There's like a tractor or something outside my house. One of my neighbors is mowing their lawn. Yeah! And Mario doesn't even go out of the pipe! The game doesn't anticipate this! I'm too epic for the game! The game cannot handle me. Eel Pantissimo's crazy climb. Yes, that's supposed to be an I and an L, not two Pantissimo like I always thought for several years. Literally, like they could have they couldn't have made it where the capital I isn't a lowercase L. Because otherwise it looks like two Pantissimo. I'm like, why is it why is he two Pantissimo? It's me, Il Pantissimo. And now listen. See that flag over there? Now, you and I shall race to get there the fastest, yes? My personal record is 30 seconds. Impressive, eh? Oh, fun fact. Underneath his mask, that is actually the Running Man sprite from Ocarina of Time. Fun facts for all. Are you at the ready? And get set and go! Now, Il Pantissimo! You can be easily defeated by the power of just sliding. What the f- Oh no, I can't be as as quick as I normally am. Okay. 
No, come on. Yes. Okay. Normally, I would be much faster if I could use moving water. But no, I can't move while firing the water. So basically, doing the slide is pinpoint. I suppose maybe I underestimate you a small bit, perhaps. You try again after you practice more. Until then. Yeah, fun fact, this is actually the final Il Pentissimo encounter in the game. Oh, that's a blue coin. I could collect it, but I'm not collecting blue coins. And what do you have to say, doo doo lady? Come on, doo doo lady. Nice job! Wow, you must be tired! Yeah, like I said, there's so many Piantas, and I'm not gonna be giving them different voices. They'll all either have this voice or this voice! So, yeah. We're getting more shines! More shines! More shines! Hoom! Hi! Uh, yay! Yeah! I know this is gonna be so awkward, but especially since we have to actually stop midway because we need another I ability to get the rest of the shines in this area after a certain point. Goopy Inferno! Anyways, sometimes Shadow Mario will steal Flood and you're floodless. Yeah, we're carrying Shadow Mario before we carry Shadow Mario. Only the Zarthwan playthrough. Anyways, you have to get to Flood and free the mayor. Easier said than done, because normally you have to go to the underside of the village. Well, not me, because I have my own solution. Whoa, not these speedy spirits. Oh. No, no, bad, bad ghosty, bad. Okay. I could walk along the edge, but considering that I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, which is not made for that sort of thing, I'm gonna run on the railing. And get to this tree up here. Okay. Now, we're gonna wanna go all the way up to the top of the tree. And basically, run up here. Whoa. No. Actually, no, it's this branch, and it's disconnected. Hooray! Now, spin jump over here! And now... It's a matter of just spin jumping all the way down! Yep, that's all there is to it! Okay, ah, jump up Mario! I could get a blue coin there, but I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. No, I want to get up there, not deal with Jorge. Yeah, golden mushroom. You, you saved me. Thanks a bunch. Mario will not be allowed to go until he collects that shine right. Yes, I don't even know what I'm doing. Do, 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 bang! More shines! Yeah, there are eight episodes in each area. Each major area will consist of eight episodes, seven of which are mandatory. The eighth is a special sort of mission of sorts that spices things up a tiny bit, but not too too much. Anyways, other than that, there will be a 100 coin shine that you will get for collecting 100 regular yellow coins in a level, as well as two hidden shines. We cannot get the hidden. Sh the first hidden shine, the hidden shines for this area are in a secret area, which we, in a mission that we cannot get yet, and in the final mission, which we also will not be able to get. We're going to have to come back for those. Phew. Oh, for a second I thought my game was now functioning on me. Anyways, we're going to do one more mission and then we'll end things off. Well, no, Mario, don't run off the thing! I worked hard to get up here! Chain Chomp's bath! Because apparently, crazy Chain Chomp lady, she hasn't learned to listen for episode 1, so guess what? We have to help deal with her Chain Chomp. Her big Chain Chomp. Who needs a bath? Oh, be careful doing slide jumps on this bridge, because there's a little glitch where you could go through the planks. Ah, come on. Hey you! We've got another problem here! This thing's bigger than all those puzzles put together! When it's chained up, there's no problem, of course, but when that thing's loose, we're in a heap of trouble! Oh yes! That beast owner always has blurt burnt hands! It's pitiful! Ha, yeah, bump into the big tree. I'm 
the one who should be seeing that change up. Maybe I should head over to the hot springs and calm myself. Now, we're gonna calm th That's a big hint for what we need to do. Anyways, I have an easy way to get this mission done. First off, free the chain chomp. Then, grab a barrel. Well, they do not seem to like bathing. Now, we're gonna wanna beat that chain chomp over here because the chain chomp's natural route is to defy me. Come on, no! Anyway, start dragging it. Come on, we gotta drag this thing. Come on. Come on, Come on Mario, drag it. No! I'm not losing my progress! No! Darn it! If I had my GameCube controller, this would be so much easier! Okay! Got it! Oh, missions like this are gonna be a big pain in the ass, but I can do it! I can do it! I can get through this! I wanna play Mario Sun Driver, you people! I wanna play it! Come on! Into the tub! Into your tub! Yes! There we go! Okay! And pause while jumping, apparently. Oh, we can save manually. Good, good, good. Yeah! Shine! Okay, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I'll, I'll wait for the cutscene to do and then basically do my outro. As you can see, the sun does start to slowly creep forward. Oh, well, it's gonna just zoom in. <laughs> well, sorry about that. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. If you come back to the next one, if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye!